Hey guys, it's Audra and welcome back to my channel. It has been about a month since I've uploaded anything. I had good intentions of doing like two or even three readathons, I think. And then I hit a wall of stress and anxiety. Um, this week, earlier this week, I had my two-year remission check for breast cancer. And I, like I said, was just so stressed, couldn't function, and... Yeah, stress can do amazing things to your body to make you believe that your cancer is back and that it's kind of taken over um, your life. And I am happy to report that I am just fine for right now. Um, my numbers were normal for blood work. That's all I do at this point. Um, my counts for all my organs, kidneys, liver, and stuff were completely in a normal range. I didn't have any like persistent symptoms to be looking out for so I just go back in six months to recheck so I thought it would be fun to kind of get back in the swing of things with a makeup tag I have not done makeup on this channel for a while I used to do it like a year year and a half ago when I was getting ipsy bags and just testing things out and I thought this would be a fun way to get back into doing some of that every now and then because um, makeup was kind of like my thing that I used to be creative and also look alive when I was going through chemo and afterwards with my hair going back and kind of stuff. So anyways, I have a basket here of new products or even like old things I used to love. I haven't used in a while and just want to see if I should keep it or not. Um, and then every brush I'm going to use, I splurred for the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush collection. So those are most of the brushes I use. And then I also have beauty blenders. This is the Jeffree Star and Morphe collection. There are three little ones. Um, and yes, they are dirty because who has time to clean brushes? I'm not a booty, booty guru. <laughs> Beauty guru. All right. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. The first step is primer. And I don't use primer much anymore. The beauty gurus I watch have gotten away from it. But I do like to use the Mario Budescu. Badescu, whatever. Facial spray. This is the cucumber and green tea. Um, I also love the rose water one, but I just kind of spritz it off. There's that. Let it dry. I just like the refreshing smell. Kind of gets me in the mood, I guess. And then um, I recently picked up the e.l.f. Prep and Blur Stick. I wanted to try the milk one, but it is like $32 or something crazy. And I didn't think it was that important. So, um... I just kind of, I like the feel of this. I've just been using this for like a week now. So I'm just going to put it in here. Then I will blend it in. So the book that goes with primer is a book that left a lasting impression. And for this one, I do have a mirror over here, by the way. Um, for this one, I had chosen The Home for Wanted Girls. This one I read at the very beginning of the year, and it just left me in shock. Um, in a good way, in a bad way, I don't even know. It is about in the 1950 Quebec, I believe that's the year in Quebec, um, about what happens when teenagers would find themselves pregnant, where the babies would go, and essentially these babies were taken to a insane asylum that had been turned into an orphanage. Um, and this actually happened. It was happening because the Catholic Church ran these... Um, orphanages and the government said that they would give them more money if it was actually an insane asylum so they turned the orphanage into an insane asylum and brought uh, the adult individuals in with these kids and it's just kind of the story of like both sides of the kid and the mother and it was insane it left me like with so many questions just because I also know there's a place just down the road that um, did the same thing and it's kind of like a haunted winery now I guess but it kind of followed that path as well so based on a true story you definitely need to pick that one up all right moving in I'm going to do things kind of backward than I normally do concealer because I did get this new ColourPop concealer no filter concealer there you go um this is the color Fair 08, and honestly, I think it might even be a little too light. Um, but for the concealer question, oh boy, here we go. Uh, a character we like to get rid of. 
Wait, let's, I just put this in here. I'm doing this first because I think it is a little too light. And if I do this first, I can blend it in with my foundation. But a character that I would get rid of is just any character that is placed into a story just to further the plot using cancer. It drives me insane and like sometimes it's not even needed and it's like oh yeah this person randomly is from the past died of cancer that's it like I don't understand that or how people that are like stage four cancer oh I better make things right with them before they go or you know try I don't know I just don't obviously like it and I think this kind of fits into like the whole trigger conversation that's been having on booktube again lately and I'm probably going to do a whole video on that as well as grief and um, death. So anyways, that is that question. I don't really have a particular one. So moving on. The next one is foundation and today I'm going to test out an old favorite. What is that sticker? Uh, this is a Lumi Cushion Foundation. It is in Classic Ivory N2. Um, I use this because Jacqueline Hill used it. I haven't used it in a while, and I want to try it again. I'm going to put it with this Beauty Blender. So the foundation question is a book that is a first in the series that is your favorite. And my always answer has been The Rook by Stephen James. Um, this is, I guess, like a... It's actually made by a Christian publisher, but it is a murder mystery. And in this first book, things are connected so well together in like ways that I have never seen from any other mystery or thriller book. And I read a lot of them. So I always love that one. And then also my other one is The Surgeon by Tess Gerritsen. And this is the Resilient Isles series. That is a TV show. Um, but I can remember just being so shocked by the way that this killer selected people and what he did to them. And yeah, kind of morbid, but it was sticking into my brain how many years later. So yeah, definitely check those out if you need a good murder mystery series to go into. Is this doing anything? I don't know. Build, 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 right? So final verdict on this. I think I do like it. It's a little light on me, maybe the coloring. Also, the lights are just off because I'm using this ring light. Um, and I'm no expert. So um, I like a light to medium coverage just because I do have freckles. And I feel like I look really strange when I completely wipe them out with full coverage. So I do like that. Um, now it's time to set it. And I'm going to... Use an oldie fave in this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Banana. I don't even remember why people use Banana. I haven't used it in a long time. Normally I use the RCMA setting powder, but we're going to try this today. Okay, so all that did was make things creasy, and I'm not a fan, so that probably won't be used again. So next up, powder. I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way powder, but I'm going to go and try the oldie but a goodie Laura Mercier. See if I still enjoy that. Put some in here. Um, the question for this one, this is my favorite brush by the way. It feels so nice. Um, the question for this one is the last book in the series that is your favorite because it's the last thing to set your face. Um, and for that, something that like is completely different than everything else on this list will be the third book in the Angels Walking series by Karen Kingsbury. Um, I don't even remember what it's called, but I will put it up here. Maybe like A Brush of Wings, I think. Um, but this book was my favorite in the whole series. It kind of brought all the characters together. Um, I really enjoyed this series after my brother passed away. It just kind of gave me hope. It's about angels that come to Earth to like save um, humanity, I guess. And so it was a good one. And I definitely would like to get my own copy of it so I can reread it. But So the next step that I normally do is bronzer. And that's not on the list, but I'm testing out this Milani Baked Bronzer in Dulce, number 9. 
today. I've used it a couple times. I can't remember why I stopped using it. So this may go really bad. Um, I use the JH02. So bronzer doesn't have a question. So can we think of a sunny beachy read? <laughs> I can't think of anything. Like I can think think of a whole bunch of books that I wanted to read this winter that I didn't get to because they were like snowy thrillers but I don't know what to say for that one so maybe in the summer I like to read a lot of like romance like contemporary romance so does that count as an answer I saw Tati Westbrook do this so I don't give a fuck she said if you're not gonna do like a complete outline on your nose you like flick up so so back into the list which somebody added contour um that's depth and I have not used this collection it's Pirates of the Caribbean from Lorac I think and it is like a face set it's kind of hard to see but this would be like a contour color I'll probably use that for blush you have highlight and you kind of like that, so, um, let's see, so for contour it says more depth than you thought it would have, for that I'm going to go by with um, Front Desk by Kelly Yang, it's a book that I just read, it is middle grade, but it is, oh my goodness, so good, it's about a girl who, um, whose parents help run this hotel, and they hide essentially immigrants there, and so there's a lot of conversations going on about the way we treat immigrants, about stereotypes, um, about community and saving each other, and I cannot recommend it enough. I'm super excited that it is going to be um, one of the global read-alouds for next year for school. So I'm hoping that I can get that off the ground and running with my new school that I'm at, but I will let you know how that goes. So now I'm going completely out of order because I'm going to do it in the steps that I do it. And my next step would be blush. And I'm going to go in with this Caribbean color and just lightly on the cheeks. So the question for this one is a cringeworthy romance. And even though I said I read romances during the summer, I still don't read a whole lot. So cringeworthy are books that I just don't do often. However, I will say something that's a little off. And that would be Behind Your Eyes by Sarah Pinborough, I think. Um, it's a thriller. And the way the end of the book goes and how this person gets the individual that um, they are interested in to have relations with them is so totally wrong. There's, like, magical realism involved with that book. Sorry, not sorry. I guess that's probably a spoiler. But... How that goes down, I was not okay with. Like, in my mind, I was like, that is, like, rape. Not o not okay. So that definitely was cringeworthy, and so I guess that's what I'm going to go with for this question. And then we can move on. So since I already know how this highlighter applies, and I really do like it, I'm still going to try something new that I just got in. That's the Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder. It looks very, very sparkly. Oh, my. This is a mess. Apparently, I've drop this or something. So I have a whole bunch in this. I'm going to go in hopefully light-handed at first and we'll see if it builds up. I do it at high points as one would. Oh. Well, it's a little chunkier than I thought it would be, that's for sure. And then I do my Cupid's bone product. I'm going to regret that. Ooh, she's sparkly. All right. Oh, book. Huh. How about that? The book uh, for highlight. What is the question? Something that brightened your day. I'm going to go with Accidental Beauty Queen. I just finished this, so I'll talk about it in my wrap-up. But this is about a girl who is an elementary librarian, so represent, um, that accidentally becomes a beauty queen because she's an identical twin. Her identical twin gets uh, 
an allergic reaction and can't perform. So she, like, takes her spot. And um, there's just a lot of, like, bookish love. And there's cute romance. Um, and so there's just a lot going on. And I really enjoyed it. It definitely brightened my day. All right. So I'm going to go back in the veil as Jeffree Star and Nikki Tutorials say. Just kind of blend everything together that I've already done. And then I'm going to go in with a eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go and try out this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Normally I use MAC Paint Pot. Ooh. It's been a while since I've tried this. Okay. So I'm just going to put some on my eyeballs. And I will blend in with one of those itty bitty blending things. It does make it kind of tacky, so it does do its job. Okay, so eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to do some weird things today, I think. Not weird, just kind of put everything together. So for eyeshadow... I'm going to use two different things, four different things, whatever. Um, this is the Winky Luxe Kitten Paradise palette. I got this when I went to Atlanta for a uh, breast cancer conference, and their store was so much fun. The the ladies and men in there were so helpful. This is super pretty. It doesn't really does do it much justice. But I'm going to go in with this white color here to kind of set my primer in place. So going back into the colors that I built, I'm going to be using Bon Fresco from Anastasia Beverly Hills to do my crease. So the book for this one is actually um, a book with your favorite color on the cover. And my favorite color is green. So obviously the first one that comes to mind is Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, um, which was like everybody's favorite last year for a good reason. I enjoyed this book so much. I went into it a little scared because, once again, nobody mentioned that the main character, Evelyn Hugo, is um, throwing this event for her daughter who died of breast cancer. And then you see it later on as well in another way. But um, I kind of had to work past my own issues with that to really enjoy the story and figure out that it really wasn't about the husbands. Not, not at all. It was so good. So... Here we go. That is my favorite blend, 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 blend. Real quick, going back into the Winky Lux palette to create a little more depth. I'm going to do this like plum cranberry. I don't know. Really, really light. This palette is super pigmented, but it is really good. Lastly, I'm going to go in with my finger and use the color Pink Champagne from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's this one right there. It's very pretty foiled. Um, but I don't know if I can make it any more here. Sorry. So it just easily goes on and you can definitely build it up to what you would like it to be. Just like the shimmery look of that for sure. Go back and blend that together. I'll put some of those colors on the bottom lash as well, just to kind of blend it all in. Not the brush I normally use, but lately I've just been doing browns um, for everyday work eyes. So, again, I don't want to have to clean brushes, so we're just going to go with this. Now, the only problem with these colors is that right now, this stage, it looks like you have a black eye. But once you add in a little bit of mascara, it turns out all right, at least, if, if not better. All right, so I'm going to, I think, move into eyeliner. Normally, I use black eyeshadow. That was a trick I found during chemo that allows for it to get like super tight so there's no gaps when your hair is getting loose um and then I just haven't gone back since because I have tried and then just I didn't like it but I'm gonna try this tester the Marc Jacobs which used to be a favorite and I'm just gonna tight line real fast and we're gonna see if I'm gonna keep this or not 
Okay, so honestly, I don't even know if I like that or not. Um, I do like the tight lining and the eyeshadow because it makes your lashes look fuller. It's kind of like a little trick, but not sure if I'm a fan of that. So, um, but I'm going to go back in with this, pick up the lightest highlight and put it in the inner corner. It makes you look more awake, which actually I should use something else. So I'll go ahead and like add that as a detail. Recently, I picked up during the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta this Lancome Lash Booster because one of the teacher librarians I know via Instagram raves about it. And so I decided to pick it up and it really does work well. I wish I would have picked up more of them because it's 24 bucks a bottle. And I can't afford that life. I'm assuming you go through it quite the same as you would with a bottle of mascara. Um, but obviously you want to add a couple coats. So I'm going to do that and then get into mascara. And it looks a little crazy. And so while that dries down, I'm going to go into eyebrows. And something that is new to me is using a brow pomade. I finally got some good directions on how to do this. I tried microblading after chemo, didn't really work, not a fan. So we do this now. Um, the question for eyebrows, because everyone should read it, I put home going um, and on the come up. So one's very historical fiction, one is very contemporary. So home going, I think everyone should read because of I was intimidated by it and I needed like a push to get into it and it was so good the way it followed um, eight generations on two different sisters like half sisters and I just love the snapshots of their life and how it shows like even the slightest bit of privilege even in extremely extremely harsh and unfair conditions can affect like generations from there on out and so I did it I love that story I constantly think about it definitely want to reread it even though um, it is such a hard read for sure but it's very necessary and I think more people should have to read it sorry I'm kind of doing things off camera because I want to get this done I hate doing my eyebrows and then on the come up should also be a must read because um, it's very contemporary very timely there's a lot of things that are addressed that are complete double standards in our culture regarding white privilege, and I think it should be a mandatory read. I just, I really do. Same thing with The Hate You Give. Um, yeah. So then I did go back in with Gimme Brow Gel in the color 3. I do want to splurge for the matching um, taupe Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Tint Gel, um, but money gotta spread it out when I get new makeup because it's not really necessary but it's just fun. All right. All right so the last thing for the eyes is going to be mascara and I'm trying out something new so I'm kind of nervous that it's going to screw everything up. This is a sampler of the Milk Kush mascara. The wand does look nice um, but it came in a set of five samplers that if you bought the little tin inside there's also a coupon to get a free one full-size free one of one of the five um, from the Sephora inside JC Penney so check that out but the wand looks okay so we're gonna test this out um, but the question for this one excuse you sir the dog is over here begging to go do something which, yep um, the long no <laughs> obviously the question is long lashes and this video has taken way too long um oh my gosh rude go get your chew and lay down so for a long book the longest book i've ever read is swan song by robert mccannon I don't remember much about it. It was a long time ago that I read this, like seven-ish years ago. Other than it is a post-apocalyptic, 
you know, one of those end of the world type books. Um, and it's like 950 some pages. So it was good. Goodreads tells me I gave it five stars. I don't know what I would give it now if I reread it, but that was the longest book I've ever read. And these are not the longest my eyelashes have ever been. I'm still struggling to get all the hair back. I'm trying the Rodin Fields Lash Boost again, so I'll let you know how that goes. I'm not a fan of that. Oh well, now I know. Definitely will not be the one that I get um, as a full size one. I think I will probably end up getting the Too Faced Better Than Sex that was in there. Um, I think other ones that were in there were like the Urban Decay Perversion. Um, I don't remember. Roller Lash. I like that one, but I don't like that it dries down all the way. Or doesn't dry down all the way. And the last step for today will be lipstick. And for that, I picked up the other day one of the new Morphe Cream Lipsticks. This is the color for Evs. I feel like it's a dupe for my favorite Smashbox, which is like 24 bucks, and this one's like six or nine or something, and it's just super pretty. Uh, so I'll put that on. I am definitely a cream lipstick, not matte lipstick kind of girl. All right, it's a mauve rose color, super pretty, super cheap. The book for that is uh, Your Favorite Kiss, again, Nothing really stands out, but I do really like um, A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. That book, I've read that twice. I can't really say that much for any of the other ones. Um, but I do enjoy their romance, so that will be the one that I pick. There you have it. This is the final look and all the books that you need to know about to go with this tag. I had a lot of fun doing it. Sorry about the lighting and my rustiness, I guess. But it was a lot of fun, and I'm excited to get back into the swing of things. And I'm going to put on some earrings and a shirt because this is my nighty. Um, but I'm going to film a couple videos to get caught up, like the wrap-ups, the hauls, all the things. Maybe even those trigger videos. But let me know what else you'd like to see down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.